It's a new year, a new season, and we are underway. Really dominating fashion here today is going to win. Two, three, four for the final time. Win number one of the season, only just barely. He is going to win here at the Nazareth Speedway. Wins the Emerson Electric 100K. going to be Igor Moretto's going to eke it out. Cup Series champion is Shane Lake in the number 15. Welcome to the NOF SRL. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back to the Daytona International Speedway. We are live from Daytona Beach, Florida for the to kick off the 2021 season of the NOFSRL Mission Barbecue Cup Series here on NASCAR Nerd 34. 20 drivers get set to take do 20 laps of action around this 2.5 mile super speedway here in Daytona Beach, Florida to see who will we be the first ever winner of the clash during Spencer's Speed Weekend. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trey Wright and uh, folks, after, uh, after a quite, quite a few month long hiatus, ever since September, so I'd say a, four, a good 4 or 5 month long hiatus, we are back here on NASCAR Nerd 34 for NR2003 stock car lap by lap racing and uh, I could not be more excited to kick off this season. Joined alongside me is my good friend Alex Graham aka AG Racing or Napa fan. Alex, it's the start to a brand new season. What better way to kick it off than a special, a uh, little bit of a, uh, uh, yeah, little bit of a no points exhibition event. What are your expectations going into this race tonight? Well, this is a lot like the Melia La Fest before he moved it over to Homestead this year in the NOF Zero Cup Series. So if you've seen any of the past Melia La Fest races at Daytona, it's essentially the same exact thing here tonight. You're even setting the starting lineup the same exact way. So with that in mind, they're going to be going all out for it. Nothing to lose here tonight since it's an exhibition event. And these guys are very well experienced. A lot of guys who have actually been in many Melia La Fest before, like Cameron Garlington, Tristan Allen, Nathan Stapleton, and... Zachary Fitzwater, of course, he's been in everything. So definitely excited to see how this all goes down. Should be a great one here tonight from Daytona for 20 laps. Definitely is going to be one heck of a race here in uh, Daytona Beach, Florida tonight. Alex, I think I've said the words Daytona Beach, Florida about three or four times already. So let's uh, just continue from that. You did mention the starting lineup. Will I mention what the entry list is real quick? Uh, so basically, if you won a race last season and you are returning for this season... Those 16 of you are in the show for tonight. The other four drivers are NOFSRL creators that are going to be driving this season. Uh, so that is uh, Tristan Allen, Josh Williamson, Cameron Garlington, and Ethan Lewis. Those 20 drivers will do 20 laps of action here at the Daytona International Speedway to see who can win the first ever uh, exhibition race for Spencer's Speed Weekend on this beautiful Friday evening here on the 12th. Yes, the 12th of February, just a, few, uh, just a few days before the Smokies Best Damn Garage Daytona 500 as the cars will do their pace lap. We'll go more into detail on what this weekend is going to look like, but gotta get the cars rolling off here in just one moment. And there it is, that beautiful NOFSRL uh, Mission Barbecue Cup Series uh, Dodge Challenger Daytona. Yeah, Dodge 
uh, Charger Daytona. Apologize for there. Gonna get the uh, commentary kinks out as early as possible. That's why we're uh, mostly doing this exhibition race. But all the cars are rolling off nice and smoothly. Alex, who is your pick to end up in body armor victory lane to open up 2021 with an absolute bang? I think we're going to see someone from the back win this race. One of those NOF serial creators and one of the guys that have known longer than anybody else. Cameron Garlington there, the number 28 machine in the Little Caesars machine. Um, Garlington's been in a lot of smooth fests before. He's won a NOF serial cup series Daytona 500. I think Garlington's going to have a very good chance at going to victory lane here tonight in what is essentially the new smooth fest. Obviously, we moved the Meliolo smooth fest in the NOF serial cup series to Homestead this year. And, uh, this is essentially the same exact thing that we had for the smooth fest when we ran it at Daytona. 20 laps, 50 miles, and just about the same amount of cars as it's always kind of been. So, should be a great race here tonight for 20 laps here at Daytona and the Clash. It definitely should be uh, your pulse. Your uh, top guys uh, on the front row are Derek Hamill and Colton Yo. Gonna mention, uh, try and mention all these guys as much as possible as uh, everything goes on tonight. Colton Yo, you'll see, is not in the one car as he was last season. He uh, switched over to an owner driver role uh, to form a Yo Race, uh, Yo Motorsports, I believe it is. A lot of those, a lot of uh, silly season, off season things happened in the off season. That did not sound right, uh, but uh, if you thought that was bad commentary, just wait. This uh, race is going to be uh, kind of painful on the ears, unfortunately, as uh, making sure all 20 drivers are going to be entering the uh, newly Reese's Restart Zone, the newly named Reese's Restart Zone. Pace car pulls off onto pit road. Derek Hamill and Colton Yo lead them down. They're in the Restart Zone. They've got the green flag. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2021 on NASCAR Nerd 34. absolute dead heat at the line between Colton Yo and Derek Hamill. Yo leads that lap by just a couple tenths of a second, but here comes uh, Derek Hamill on the inside line, and it is a hornet's nest behind these guys. There's Tyler Reynolds makes a jump from SF Premium Motorsports, who folded up in the offseason to Buck Racing in the number 19 Dollar Tree Ford Fusion. A lot of driver uh, driver shuffling in the offseason is Madison Tall, one of the dr few drivers that did not shuffle through her ride. She's going to try and make a three wide for the race lead going into turn three alex yeah ns racing is definitely going to be a team to watch out for this season they got a lot of solid guys with stapleton williamson on there and of course madison tall obviously a great driver as well she's going through for the race lead but watch out for colton you know there in that outside lane Ooh, contact like contact the they're getting the turned around off. Derek Hamill in the front of the field and that did not right. take long logan williams and a new caught team Cole Sampson, I think that was Ethan Lewis, Mitchell Collins in there, Brennan Wilmington, and the big one strikes early, Derek Hamill getting turned on the in the tri-oval, and that did that not take very, long at all. Yeah, that was a very interesting situation there because they weren't even uh, four wide, and most of the time when they wreck here at Daytona, it's a four wide situation. I, I think a lot of guys were able to avoid major contact here, but that's going to help out Colton Yo quite a bit as he uh, cleared the field there. And he's definitely going to be the guy to beat at this point, I feel like, because a lot of guys got some p bit of damage from that accident there. But uh, I don't think it's going to take many people out of the race. We're just going to see uh, once we review it and everything. Definitely well. Pace car has been deployed. Colton Yo led them back to the caution flag. Madison Tall. Hooking the 91 of Derek Hamill. Sparks flying already here for in the Clash. Ryan Benjamin, your de uh, defending Daytona 500 winner. 
A little bit of damage there in the number 15 Toyota Camry. You might notice that the cars look a little bit different from last season. We are using the uh, better looking Cup 2000 mod. And obviously uh, we saw a little bit of the damage model there already. Nathan Stapleton. There's Cameron Garlington making up quite a few positions. He's already to fifth after that incident. Ethan Lewis with a little bit of damage. Uh, Tristan Allen. There is Josh Williamson. A lot of hood damage to that car. Derek Hamill first car to go around. Brennan Wilmington. Uh, returning to the number 62, newly sponsored Mellow Yellow car. Really nice looking car. I know, I know you love that car because of Mellow Yellow and everything. Zachary Davis mm. moves. Zachary Davis moves over to Full Frontal Motorsports. Uh, and that car, it's, it's intact, I'd say for the most part. Uh, looking to see who else was caught up in that. I think Tyler Reynolds was also caught up in that. Logan Williams and Mitchell Collins also there, and Eric Mon. Excuse me, Eric Monaco, not the way that he wanted to start off his 2021 season. Kind of the same way he ended the 2020 season, uh, getting caught up in a wreck late in the going at New Jersey. I think a lot of these guys uh, might just call it quits. This race isn't for points, so it's just for fun and uh, everything. And you know what? They can uh, pull up behind the wall if they want to. Uh, no harm, no foul. Just want to get out of the way if they want to. But Colton Yo led us back to the caution flag and... Got about uh, half the field left, probably, unfortunately. So, kind of take a look and see what happened to bring out the first caution of the evening here at the Daytona International Speedway. A wild start, too, already to the clash to kick off the 2021 season and ki subsequently kick off Spencer's Speed Weekend. Taking a look and see from the replay, it looks like Madison Tall is going to move up the racetrack just a little bit. And I, I thought while initially seeing this, it looked like Mitchell Collins in the 78 was going to try and make it 4 wide, but he thinks better of it. But Madison Tall is uh, the trioval bottlenecks down to about three lanes, just nowhere to go. Hardly any room for the 99 car, and she unfortunately clips Derek Hamill right as they're about to cross the start-finish line. Very, very intriguing wreck here at the Daytona National Speedway. Like Alex said, normally these guys wreck when they go four wide off the corner, not three wide. But Hamill, what what goes down must come up. Goes right back into traffic in front of 78 of uh, Mitchell Collins. Uh, Logan Williams in the 17 almost goes upside down. Tyler Reynolds caught up in this as well. Ryan Benjamin is going to make a nice save in the number 15 Toyota Camry. And then uh, quite a quite a few drivers uh, pile in as well. You see Brennan Wilmington in the number 62. He's going to get a little bit of damage there. Josh Williamson with a pretty crinkled hood. There's uh, Eric Monaco, not Ethan Lewis, that was caught up. There's where Wilmington gets his damage. Landon Smith Jr. and a couple other guys just barely skating through. But a uh, fairly, fairly small accident to uh, what we normally see at the Daytona International Speedway. Of course, uh, the Daytona 500 went caution-free last year. So, I guess this is our first, in first ever caution at the Daytona International Speedway for the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. We'll get you the real-time replay and then you get you back to the action here in the Spencer's Clash to kick off Spencer's Speed Weekend. And you see right here, Madison Tall moved up just a little bit on Derek Hamill. And it wasn't a full-blown four-wide situation, but it was a pseudo four-wide. And obviously you see what ensues after that. Hamill there doesn't seem to get too much damage. He did get a bit of a hit there initially, but the 17 there, Logan Williams, got the worst of that one, along with my driver there of Ethan Lewis. Tough break for Ethan there in the number 79. But uh, that's the name of the game here at Daytona. Speedway Physics will do that to you. And I think we're far from being done with that tonight. It's actually Eric Monaco, my bad there, who got caught up in that accident. But still, tough break for all those guys involved. But hey, it's just an exhibition race, and uh, thankfully... It's not for points here so far this season. Get those kinks out, just like we are in the commentary early on in the season before we get to the real stuff coming up in a couple of days. Indeed it is, as Colonia leads them back to the caution flag, and Madison Tall, the instigator in that incident, unfortunately, was uh, it's going to start right, be uh, right behind Colton Yo, Ryan Benjamin, Nathan Stapleton, and Cameron Garlington will make up your top five, heading back to the restart after a crazy, crazy early incident here. And what has already been a pretty wild uh, Spencer's Clash, that's the name of the race, get you back to your restart and uh, get you and uh, get you uh, as quickly back to the action as we can here on, on the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. First ever exhibition race 
at the Daytona International Speedway. We're back here at the Daytona International Speedway wrapping up the first caution of the evening here in the Spencer's Clash. Take a look and see who was knocked out from that. Unfortunately, Mitchell Collins and Brennan Wilmington were the two casualties in that incident. Still have 18 cars left on the racetrack. That's a complete lap, uh, lap 7 of 20. So almost already midway through the Spencer's Clash. A short little race here. But, uh, hey... Gotta, gotta kick off the season somehow, and hindsight probably should have made this uh, 30 laps, but hindsight is 2020, and unfortunately, can't see that in the present, but pace car is going to be pulling off on the pit road here in just one quick moment. Colton Yo, Madison Tall, Ryan Benjamin, Nathan Stapleton, Cameron Garlington, Ethan Lewis, Tristan Allen, Smith Jr., Zachary Fitzwater, and Zachary Davis, your top 10 in the restart, through the gears they go, through the races, restart zone they go. And Madison Tall immediately ducks down underneath Colton Yo. Try and make a bottom lane work already. She's got uh, help from her boyfriend Nathan Stapleton and Ethan Lewis in the Otter Island Motorsports car that doesn't have any damage. And already we've got two lines forming and it's now many cars going to the bottom line as Stapleton decides to stay high and help bump, uh, not bump draft, but help aerodynamically draft Colton Yo. It looks like they're going to go three wide for the race lead. No, Ethan Lewis isn't going to have much help on the inside, so I think he's going to fall back. Uh, might have an open hole here, but this is exactly what Colton Yo wants to see out of his rear view mirror. Three wide, almost four wide there as they, uh, as they accelerate through this opening lap after the restart. Yeah, we'll finally get a lap in here. Hopefully they don't wreck coming to the line this time around. But uh, 79 machine there, good run for Ethan Lewis. He started dead last for this race, not even halfway, and he's up to third. Watch out for Stapleton and Madison Tall in an outside lane, though. But Colton, you know, like I said when we had that wreck, he's going to be the guy to beat. And you can tell that number zero machine is strong compared to everybody else. He's got a considerable gap between him and the rest of the field. Yep, indeed he does. About, uh, about a car length or two uh Car length or two uh, gap between him and Landon Smith Jr. A hard charging Landon Smith Jr. Four wins last season, but unfortunately fell apart completely in the chase. The wheels and pretty much everything but the kitchen sink fell off of the number 88 car. But he is back and he is trying to uh, set 2021 off to a good start. Bailey is just going to get edged out at the line by Colton Yo. So we have 11 laps remaining in the Spencer's Clash. Another guy on the inside, Zachary Davis in the one, made the, uh, I think I mentioned this already, but in case I didn't, made the move from Full Frontal, uh, made the move to Full Frontal Motorsports from Appleseed Racing, and he's going to try and go for the lead, help from the legend himself, Zachary Fitzwater in the nine for Polar Star Motorsports, all three Polar Star Motorsports cars being represented in this race, as well as all three, um, as well as all three uh, NS Racing cars. That's NS. the name of that racing team. Yeah, NS Racing's all here, too. As far as I know, Josh Williamson is... I can't off remember if he's caught up in an accident or not. He's not. He yeah, was. he's off the pace. But Tall and Stapleton are still in this thing. As that 88, Alana Smith Jr. is moving to the inside of the one. And then you got the... One machine taking the lead away from Landon Smith Jr. So Zachary Davis now leading this field. And here comes Fitzy in the number nine machine. He always got to watch out for Fitzwater in one of these races. And right behind Fitzwater, it's the number 56 machine of Tristan Allen. And Tristan Allen, back uh, in the old days of, uh, of my racing, back in the NRL away days, pushed Marty Johnson to a smooth fest win. So he may be a good guy to have behind you in one of these races. And we're halfway here for the clash. Indeed we are. Cross flags last time by 10 to go coming around to 9 laps to go in the clash. Zachary Davis, your Milwaukee winner. I thought they were going to go 4 wide there for a second, but they keep it clean. Keegan Thompson makes the move over from a... Uh, uh, Macklin Hamill Motorsports to drive, uh, actually drive for his own team in Appleseed Racing. It was actually replaced Zachary Davis when Davis went to the one car, Keegan Thompson, and the number 14 Viagra car. Viagra is a parent company, Pfizer, doing pretty well with the COVID vaccine, of course. Uh, hopefully that all gets, uh, re uh, that all gets uh, submitted out to the world, and hopefully normalcy can uh, kind of continue. You see Cole Sampson in the five car year, Trenton and Talladega winner last season, dropping back with Ryan Benjamin. These guys uh, don't really have anything to race for except bragging rights, and 
Okay, see, everything goes south on these guys up front. They want to be able to capitalize on that, but I wouldn't fall too far back because we're coming around to eight laps to go. Tristan Allen and Landon Smith Jr. dead heat at the line. It looks like they're going to go four wide there in the back for a second with Nathan Stapleton and Ethan Lewis. About a, uh, a 13 car freight, uh, not freight train, about 13 car blob, I should say. All underneath us, one second of one another. Keegan Thompson up there pushing the crap out of the 56 of Allen. Here comes uh, Tall and uh, Stapleton, that NS Racing duo, down on the bottom lane. Let's see if they can... Uh, Capitalize on some positions. They're going to pass Fitzwater, who's posted up on the outside lane. Outside lane does not really work here at Daytona, unless you are at the very front, three wide off the corner. It is still Landon Smith Jr. and Tristan Allen, your top two guys in, uh, in position to win this race. Yeah, it's definitely interesting seeing Landon Smith Jr. dominate this field now, but... Uh... Going to be interesting to see if he can hold these guys off. That 80 it seems very strong. And with this smaller pack, that outside lane is going to be the strongest line for whoever's leading it. And uh, Landon Smith Jr. in a good position to pace this field. But uh, you can't count out Tristan Allen there right on that inside lane in the 56 machine. And then right behind him, the 14 of Keegan Thompson. Those guys are definitely a couple of hungry drivers to get a race victory. But that outside lane just has all the momentum right now. And it may have all the momentum until the end of this race. Davis pulls down to the inside. He darts down to the inside. He's going to lose a little bit of momentum. Actually, no, he's going to gain some momentum on the inside here. But uh, on the outside lane off the corner is going to... It's not going to work there. Zachary Davis goes to the lead. Six laps to go in the Spencer's Clash. And uh, now is the time for these guys to move up in the pack. Colton Yo who dominated the first part of this race. All the way back there in fifth place. Help from uh, Zachary Fitzwine. Your pick to win, Cameron Garlington. New uh, team, uh, owner driver for Stealth Racing. You see the rookie stripes on that 28. However, he is an NOF stroke creator, so that's why he is in the show. A plethora of rookies. A huge rookie class this season, which uh, Cameron Garlington and Ethan Lewis will be uh, uh, battling with uh, for the rookie championship and the... Uh, just regular driver's championship. Don't count out any of these rookies, especially on a very, very interesting season like this. Five, count them, five laps to go for, uh, excuse me, Landon Smith Jr. Forgot his name there for a second. But, uh, yeah, no. Good job in this outside lane right now. We'll have to see if Zachary Davis has anything on the inside because the inside has a little bit more help at this point than it did a little bit earlier. But, uh, Colton Neal still up there with the shot. Fitzwater still up there. Things get crazy enough. Those guys in the outside lane could find their way on that inside lane and fight for the win. But right now, it's the point of no return next time by. So if we get another caution, that's going to end the race early. Hopefully that does not happen. And hopefully we can race this thing to the end. But uh, I think Landis Smith Jr. would love to see a caution come out. Or Zachary Davis, considering who wins the race back to the line here. I think that would uh, definitely suit them as Stapleton is going to transition down to the bottom group. So now the bottom has more cars and should be a little bit faster. As now, as, Just as I say that, Nathan Smith in the number 25, owner-driver for Polar Star Motorsports, transitions to the top. Had two wins last season at Charlotte and Atlanta. Yes, Charlotte and Atlanta. Uh, both of those tracks will be returning to the schedule, of course. Uh, oh! Lap traffic, before I mention uh, Atlanta, we got lap traffic ahead with Josh Williamson. Now this is probably going to play into who wins this race. And they are quickly advancing on Williamson. Which lane is he going to hold oh, up? Boy. He's going to hold up the middle lane. And there is no middle lane. Oh, Cole, he's going to hold up a group of guys right there. And this is going to be a four-car race at this point. Keegan Thompson on up, going to have a shot at this race victory, but everyone else, I think they're going to fall behind, and now it's going to open the door for Tristan Allen to get a run to the inside of Zachary Davis for the top position. Allen with three laps to go in the preferred line. It is uh, three Chevys against a Toyota. Them darn Yoders might win this race, as some guy would probably say, but other than that, it is all Chevys uh, here in this battle with Tristan Allen for MWR. But uh, don't count out these guys, uh, Colton Yo and uh, possibly Zachary Fitzwater and maybe even Cameron Garlington, if they can get uniformed, uh, might might be a little bit too late. But if these guys somehow make contact and go around, uh, those guys could be in the catbird seat. But coming around, two laps to go in the clash. 
for Tristan Allen on the inside lane. Zachary Davis, uh, Landon Smith Jr., and Keegan Thompson all with chances to win. But now this second line of cars is drastically closing in. Just have to just yeah, have to these, wait and these see. These guys in the back, they're gonna have a shot, I feel like, because they really closed in. The only thing is they just they gotta find a way to that inside and get away to the lead because I just don't know how they're gonna get past these guys once they reach them. Especially considering there's only one and a half laps to go. Fitzwater's gonna move down to the inside and Garlington's gonna help him, but this race may be between Zachary Davis and Tristan Allen. It might be coming around. White flag this time by for Tristan Allen and Zachary Davis. It is now a six, a seven car, eight car battle if you count Stapleton. Eight car battle for the win. Zachary Davis will lead the, uh, the white flag lap. Now let's see if he can lead the checkered flag lap. Final lap here from the Daytona. Who is going to win the 2021 Spencer's Clash? Zachary Davis trying to lead two lanes at once. If Keegan Thompson makes this thing three wide, it might be over. And car number one might finish in position number one. Going down the back straightaway for the final time. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's going to have anything for Zachary Davis at this point. Only unless Landis Smith Jr. can clear Tristan Allen here and try to slingshot to the inside. But he's got to clear Allen first, and he's not doing that. Looking good for Davis, but we still got about a mile left. Coming off of turn four, less than a mile to go. It's not going to be enough. Landis Smith Jr. not going to get there in time. Zachary Davis wins the 2021 Spencer's Clash here at the Daytona International Speedway. Oh boy, what a race. What a way to start off the season. We're just getting started with the series too. And Zachary Davis, car number one in the first race, gets it done here at Daytona. Indeed he does. Landon Smith Jr. about a tenth of a second off from that. Tristan Allen finishes in the final podium position. Colton Yo and Keegan Thompson round out your top five. And then Zachary Fitzwater, Nathan Stapleton, Cameron Garlington round out your top eight who are in this top pack. And then Ethan Lewis and Madison Tall. A couple of guys that got uh, held up by Josh Williamson, unfortunately, round out your top ten. But Zachary Davis is your winner here at the Daytona International Speedway for the Spencer's Clash. Only had one caution, so that's a good thing. It's not like the uh, the clash last year, and uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a very, very fun race to kick off season of the 2021 season. Zachary Davis is your winner here tonight and Daytona. Final thoughts on this race: uh, Zachary Davis pulls off the upset, first cut, first ever race. Uh, in this uh, new car for Full Frontal Motorsports, and uh, just fi final thoughts on this race. I felt these guys, uh, other than that for, uh, lap four incident, I believe it was, fairly clean race to kick off the 2021 season. Yeah, I mean, once they split the pack up there, there really was another chance for them to wreck. But uh, still, a good, good job out of these guys, and lap traffic came into effect a little bit there, but not too much. It was good to see that not be too much of a factor in this one. But, uh, yeah, Zachary Davis, Landis Jr., Colton Yo, especially those three guys really did a good job pacing the field tonight. I watch for them to be good tomorrow and on Sunday when we get to the Daytona 500. But a great race here for the Clash. Looking forward to see what happens this weekend here in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. And we are just getting started with the weekend. So tomorrow at noon, actually, uh, not sure uh, when the... Uh, not, anyway. not at noon. Turkey Hill Series is at noon tomorrow, so... All right, so uh, I believe... Uh, well, do let's shoot for uh, two o'clock it uh, this is all just a game of collaboration with the other series is in the NOFSRL so we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a time <laughs> yeah we're gonna uh, definitely we'll figure out a time we'll uh, be on your screen somewhere in post when we figure that out but tomorrow afternoon at the very least will be a uh, Daytona 500 pole qualifying and that qualifying uh, is important for two reasons reason number one uh, the uh, pole sitters uh, don't have to race in the du actually uh, yeah they don't have to race in the duels, and then uh, reason number two, if you win the pole, especially you do uh, that is an extra ten bonus points, new points format for this season. Go over that in the uh, during Daytona 500 qualifying tomorrow afternoon, sometime in the early afternoon hopefully, and then on Sunday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Again, gonna. Uh, uh, time for uh, the Smokey's Best Damn Garage Daytona 500, still TBA, 
but that will also be on your screen in post once we figure that out, once we uh, collaborate to see uh, when everything is going to be going up. But just get, uh, just kicking off an action-packed weekend of racing here to kick off the 2021 season of the NOFSRL Mission Barbecue Cup Series. That's all I've got. Uh, thank you, thank you once again for tuning in for the season uh, two kickoff here in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. Congratulations once again to Zachary Davis on getting the dub here in the Spencer's Clash. And that's all I've got to say. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Alex Graham, aka Napa fan, this has been NASCAR Nerd 34 signing off.